What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're going to be talking about Amazon stealing tips from delivery drivers and Jeff Bezos stepping down from CEO. Check it out. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this video here. And uh, yesterday, uh, what was it, the 2nd of February, Jeff Bezos announced he was stepping down as CEO from Amazon. And right before that, news articles hit the wire talking about how Amazon has been stealing tips from delivery drivers. It's pretty crazy chain of events that's going on here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right on into it. Before we do, do me a quick favor, smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I upload my next video video. Now, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. Here you have the article, Amazon will pay $61.7 million for settling flex driver tips. All right. On Tuesday, the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, they've been, uh, they've been after everyone that's been doing shady stuff. Uh, you know how they did uh, Jason Bull and the, uh, the whole, what was it, $137 million in fraud? I made that video. Make sure you check it out. I'll leave a tab somewhere here for you. So on Tuesday, the Federal Trade Commission announced it is fining Amazon almost $62 million for withholding the full amount of customers customer tips from its flex delivery drivers. In total, Amazon stole, that's the key word here, stole nearly one third of drivers tips to pad its own bottom line. Commissioner Rowett Chopper Coper, Copra, I don't know how to pronounce your name, my man, sorry, said in a statement, the settlement will reimburse the drivers whose money was withheld by Amazon over the course of two and a half years, the FTC, FTC said. It is not clear how many drivers were affected. Amazon formed Flex in 2015 to have drivers who are contractors, not employees, pick up and deliver Amazon Fresh, Prime Now, and other orders with their own cars, dubbed Uber for packages. Flex was an attractive gig economy position mainly because it pledged a high base pay of 18 to 25 dollars per hour plus 100 percent of customers tips now look i'm all for that i really am i really like the whole self-employment thing i really do i've been self-employed for going on almost 15 years or just for a little bit over 15 years something like that and i absolutely love self-employment so I think that program is amazing. It really is. I think so. You know, at least to me, I think it's an amazing program. In a true free market, that program excels tremendously. Okay. In a true free market, that program excels tremendously uh, or with some sort of transparency. Because the point is, these tips should not go to Amazon so that then they go to the driver. Those tips should go directly to the driver or if it's going to go to amazon then in some sort of app on the phone okay it should show the breakdown of what that customer paid via tip every single day via the driver's portal if they have one i don't know they should have like a driver pro uh, profile portal where every day they can go in there and see how much money they made on tips because if 100% of the tips are supposed to go to the driver, they should be able to keep track of that via an app. And a company like, like Amazon should be able to have that available to them, readily available to them. Okay? Not that they're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if they're paying me all my tips or not. They should be able to see that like in real time. Okay? And I think that's step one in having transparency for them to continue this program. All right? But in February 2019, the LA Times investigation found that while most flex drivers were being paid the promised base wage, which is a good wage, all that money wasn't coming from Amazon, but out of the driver's own tips. So Amazon was like, oh yeah, we're going to pay you $18 an hour. And then they would get the tip money and use that to kind of like compensate or, or like, you know, uh, uh, run the, the bankroll on that wage instead of it coming out of their pockets, how it should have. It's a business expense, okay? It's a business expense, it's not tip. It's not like, it's not like you did a delivery, the your driver was tipped five bucks, let's say, right? And then Amazon, instead of you know letting that driver keep their $5 tip, they grabbed that $5 and I'm thinking, they were like, oh, here, here's two bucks. Then they used three bucks out of that five to just add it to their regular wage so that they wouldn't have to come out of pocket for that wage. Shady, shady, Amazon, super shady. The Times reported notes, the Times report noted that Amazon used an OPEC payout system that didn't show 
the breakdown of drivers' money, uh, what I was talking about, only their total earnings. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. There should be a portal with an app that each driver can log into every single day that'll show maybe his route or his or her routes, the amount of packages they got to deal with, and the tip for each and every drop off. Not a total tip for the day, not a total wage for the day. No, 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 no. Itemized. Itemized. Who's running this show over at Amazon? Because this is completely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. All right. Amazon used the OPEC payout system that didn't show the breakdown of the driver's money, only their total earnings. In one case, a driver who was assigned to deliver an order to his own home tipped himself $12. Haha, <laughs> this is how it was all starting to come about, huh? The guaranteed minimum base pay for the order was 27. The driver received 30 in compensation for the order, which the company said included a 100% tip, showing that Amazon contributed only $18, the Times reported. And then the FTC launched an investigation into Amazon, which triggered the company to alter its practices without acknowledging wrongdoing or returning the pay. In August 2019, Amazon announced it would provide drivers with a breakdown of their earnings and cover at least $15 of minimum pay. And, in, and it confirmed that the drivers would receive 100% of their tips in addition to their base pay. Or basically, as The Verge noted, Amazon said it would use tips in the almost universally understood intent of how tips should work in the first place. Exactly. That's exactly how tips should work in the first place. That's why it's a tip, not a wage. And I think tips are awesome. I know a lot of people out there are like, oh, tips are garbage. No, no, no. If you do a good job and you're working in a good industry, you'll get tipped, you know, handsomely, generally speaking, uh, for good work. Okay. Uh, when you talk amongst people who like tip on a regular basis, cause they, they, they deal with industries that, that, you know, requires tipping they generally tip very well for good service you know i think ba uh, pay based on performance is absolutely a good thing it, it win it's a win-win for everybody all right um amazon isn't the first company to come under scrutiny for stealing employee tips doordash which paid 2.5 million settlement last year and instacart have both been accused of similar practices but amazon has long been accused for prioritizing efficiency and profits over employees or employee wo employee welfare and pay and pay last year amazon warehouse reportedly became a hotbed for the virus spread with overworked employees falling ill fail, falling ill and wow that's extreme and dying amazon has launched an aggressive anti-union campaign over the employees attempt to unionize uh for better wages and improve working conditions at one warehouse in alabama okay so we're getting off track there this is all about the pay about the the tips being stolen and then a little bit after this airs we get this one Guys, before we move any further, do me a quick favor and check out the links in the description section and in the comment section. You can download Webull, fund your account with 100 bucks, and you get two free stocks. That's free money, so why would you say no to that? Also, check out the daytraderchatroom.com. That's my chat room. You can, you'll have access to live trade alerts, live screen share with scanners and charts. You're going to have access to live commentary, live daily recaps and lessons. You're going to have access to a video library with a ton, a ridiculous amount of videos at this point. Okay. You're going to also have access to the courses. All right. That we have uploaded on the, on the website already, which includes day trading courses, options, trading courses. All right. Look at all the stuff you have options. You have access to not to mention, you're going to have access to my trade idea scanners. These scanners alone are going to cost you well upwards of a thousand dollars a year. All right. So check those links out. If you just want to test this out, and uh, you don't want to just commit to it right away, you can test this out for five days for five bucks. That link is down there as well. And if you're brand new to the market and want to check out how to like learn about the market, there's a free course that I have down there as well. Jeff Bezos to step down as Amazon CEO. Can it be correlated? Apparently he's taking the, uh, you know, he's, he's stepping down as CEO and taking executive chairman. So it's not like he's just going away from the company or anything like that. A new CEO is being put in place and it was the person who was in charge or the chief of Amazon's cloud computing division. So there's that, right? It's, uh, Amazon is in essentially in good hands. However, it seems kind of odd, right? That you would step out of that, out of that spotlight. CEO is usually the one in the spotlight, right? The chairman generally isn't in, in the spotlight after something like this happened. Can it be correlated? 
or was this already pre-planned? Is Jeff Bezos the type of person who cares about public images? I don't know. I really don't know enough about the man. Honestly, I've never cared enough other than to see where he came from and where he got to and how he did it. As far as his personality goes, I have no idea what kind of personality he has uh, outside of like studying what you know he did as a professional. So is it correlated? I don't know. You tell me. Drop your comments in the comment section below for me and remember to smash the like button for me and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I upload my next video and I hope to catch you on the next one.